Yeah, this is Bane Man Rail. Um, years ago, yeah, uh, my ballstool. I don't even, I think maybe my YP, but definitely uh, 1974, 75, around those areas, uh, maybe a bit more. Uh, when I was in a SEG unit on a 1074, they did, they did, they did it to me there, yeah. But in my ballstool, um, when I tried to tried to go from Portland Ballstool, when they captured me, I was in lots of trouble, yeah. And I went to Rochester, I went to Rochester Ballstool, uh, which is Rochester was, uh, was a bad place to go to, mate, I believe. And they give me a diet of bread and water. And yeah, bread and water, two, two big chunks of bread and, and water. As much water as you want to drink, but you can't, I mean, they only give you so much water, I believe, yeah. But I thought um, people knew about this, yeah, bread and water thing, but not a lot of people know about it. Um, when I went to my YP, um, I can't remember them giving me bread and water, but when I went to, when I went to um, Albany and I got myself in a little bit of trouble and they stuck me down the choke here, uh, they had me on bread, they put me on bread and water. I can remember it as if it was yesterday, yeah? Uh, they put me on a thing called a 1074. I couldn't even eat the food that they give me, but they always give me chunks of bread uh, with water, yeah? I had that for, what, I don't know, for, I don't know, three, four days, and then put you on a, on, put you on a prison diet, but the prisoner diet they give me was like pig's food. Now, they tried to kill me, mate, anyway, but that's beside the point. Uh, I've done a story about it in my book, um, and also I did... Do a little bit about that in my in my beginning of two years ago with Marvin Herbert and um, KON TV Christian Morgan. But bread and water um, is a punishment that they give people like me. I didn't get the birch. Um, thank you, Fraser got the birch. Um, John Massey got the birch. John Massey was on bread and water. Fraser was on bread and water. There was I don't think there's anybody. I don't think there's anybody. Uh, out there now um, in the system I don't even think uh, Charles Bronson has had bread and water he's definitely not had the birch I shouldn't think anyway um, I don't know if he's been in the bread and water uh, no I don't think he, he couldn't have been on bread and water no way but I was definitely on bread and water in my ball stall in my, in my ball stall my ball stall days I was definitely on bread and water uh, in my later days um when I went to Albany and they put me on that 1074, they definitely put me on that bread and water. I mean, they tried to kill me there, uh, but, you know, I was moved around in every prison there is to go to, every block, yeah? And they wound up in Charles Prison. I was 20, 19, 20 stone when they, when they done what they'd done to me. And I wound up, what, nine stone, eight stone in Charles Prison. But there's a big story about that. I will tell it one day. I've already told it uh, a long time ago, uh, about two years ago with Marvin Herbert and uh, KON TV. I don't know if anybody's actually uh, actually heard it, uh, but, you know, people talk about Charles Bronson and he's been through a lot. There's a lot of people out there, fair play to Charles Bronson, and I hope he gets home, mate. I want him to see him out. I want to see him out. I want to see him out and a bit, on his, bit of supervision, bit on the street. Bang, bang, rail, yeah? Bye-bye.